Carlson Pumps. So today we're going to be introducing you to the three members of the Carlson Pump family. Our 6 inch, our 4 inch, and our shorty. Same thing as the 4 inch. Today we're going to start with the 6 inch. If you're having any issues with your pump, you need to go through a diagnostic. This is the quick way to do it. We're going to take and put your thumb over the end of the hose. And see if we have back pressure. If you have back pressure where it pushes back, we're good to go. If it just drops down to the bottom and you have no pressure, then you got an issue. Which is probably why you're checking this out today. So if you have a 6 inch pump and it's got a green hose like this, your pump is very old. Um, these are older models, these are the ones that we used to grease. Um, inspection on these things is still the same, there's still a screw that needs to get taken out. Done with a Phillips screwdriver, today we're going to use an impact gun because we have one on site. So you're going to back that screw out. Set that off to the side. And then if you put the tether over the top of the handle and you just lift up. Easy as pie, huh? Aha. So the old style has grease on the inside and a rubber o-ring instead of the foam o-ring that we use today. If you're having issues with your green hose and you need to grease it, you want to go get yourself some marine grease. like to spray for a liberal amount. The way we do it is on top of a roller, just bent the roller straight. We'll lube that up with marine grease, dip it down inside the cylinder, get it all nice and round. So the inside of your cylinder is coated once again with a nice thick green marine grease film. If you have a six inch hose or six inch pump and you have a blue hose, then the inside guts are gonna look a little more like this. This is the standard foamless O-ring. It's an SDR35. The shaft will still be exactly the same, it'll pop right out the same. The testing method with your thumb over the hose, exactly the same. The next two things that we're gonna look at, let me get this bad boy back together. When you're putting the cap back on, important, important, important. Line that screw hole up with the screw, oops, with the drilled opening for the screw uh, recessed head. If you don't do this, you're gonna have an issue with the cap cracking. So we got that line back up again, using power tools because we have them. All right, get this bad boy out of the way. The next thing we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to use the 4 inch for our example for this one. If you have a pump with a blue hose, regardless of what size it is, it should have a sticker on there denoting what size o-ring or what size gasket. It should say SDR35. There are some Carlson pumps that were made that the spec on them called for an SDR26. If your, if your sticker does not specify which type of o-ring it's got, it just says patented greaseless seal. Open it up. On the inside, there should be one of two kinds. There will either be a fuzzy four inch or a very smooth four inch. It may also come in white with a 26 written on it. These ones with the 26 are SDR 26s. These ones without the 26, the nice fuzzy ring, those are SDR 35s. Those are our standard. So when you pop these open, same method. One screw opens these up. You can see after a nice long wear and tear on these things that even the 35s get all worn down. 
So instead, unless it says 26 on there or has the green foam, you're looking at an SDR 35. And again, it'll say that on the sticker. Inside, every Carlson pump that we send out is an extra foam ring. Make sure that when you put these foam rings on there, there's two sides to it. There's a smooth side, kind of hard, and then there's the foam side on the back. And you can tell the difference by looking at them and by feeling at them. When you're putting the spare one on, changing it out to see if this is the issue, you want to make sure that the hard plastic smooth side is up. Get it all the way on there and make sure that it doesn't pinch when you're putting it back in the cylinder. So before this thing gets all screwed off together, again, we're just gonna check and make sure there's pressure. Put your thumb over the top, we have back pressure. Changing the O-ring helped on this one. If there's any other issues with these things, sometimes the ears break, sometimes the shaft breaks. Send it in to Pacific River Supply, 3675 San Pablo Dam Road. Give us a call at 510-223-3675. Or email us at mike at pacificriversupply.com. Any other questions, feel free to email us. Otherwise, those are your Carlson Pumps.